Um, this is the Bloomfield Township Election Commission meeting of Wednesday, July 17th, 2024. Let's please start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, for the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Okay, the second, uh, the first item is to open, unseal, and power on the heart tabulator. Check. Check. Um, second item is to approve the election commission meetings of uh, June 13th, 2024. So moved. Support. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, third item on the agenda is public comment. Anybody? Anybody? No? Okay. Uh, moving on uh, to the fourth item, overview of the of logic and accuracy testing process and results uh, by Mr. Crouch. Am I back? Am I up? You're back. Yeah. You're up. Morning, everybody. Morning. We're moving along fast. Yeah, training today. Um, Today we're going to perform a public accuracy test on one of the machines, uh, one, one tabulator uh, in the municipality. All tabulators and all uh, touch riders are tested down in the election uh, testing facility by myself, Chris, and another gentleman, Mike. We're going to replicate one of those tests today. Uh, it's, going to, it's going to run a test that has a predetermined set of results. The machine will spit out a, a, a tally tape. Um, once the test is complete and we will compare those predetermined results to our tape and ensure that they uh, match up exactly. A uh, little bit about the machines. The software is updated for security on an ongoing basis. This is performed by the Hart manufacturer. All machines in Oakland County are Hart. Um, Software is programmed into the ballot for use in the precinct. That programming is performed by the county. Uh, and then I, my group uploads it into the machine. Uh, county prepared election is loaded into each machine. Each machine to be used is tested to verify that it votes accurately and then that flags any and all errors. The first roughly 12 ballots we're gonna put through the machine are all uh, errors the machine is supposed to catch. The machine will spit out what the error is and it'll give you an option. You can either uh, pull the ballot out and correct the problem or you can vote it as is. A lot of people stand in line and they don't care about who's the region at a certain college, but they voted one too many. That's an example. They may say, forget it and cast it as is. For today, we are gonna cast it as is. And the, the, the other part about that is if you, if these machines spit an error and if they cast it as is, the rest of their ballot is voted. It's just that one race that the error is in that it won't count. Uh, after testing, all the election equipment is locked, tagged uh, to maintain chain of custody and to prevent tampering <clears throat> until opening on the election morning. Um, they're all sealed with a security seal. I upload that into a spreadsheet pass it on to Dina, which gets it to the county and I believe the state. Um, so this test deck, this test deck is sort of like a deck of cards is prepared by a third party out, outside vendor. Um, the vendor is not Hart Inner Civic who makes the machine, it is a third party. The test deck contains each possible vote error. Um, make sure the machine will flag it and tabulate it. Each tabulator is tested and one machine is retested for the public accuracy test. That's what we're gonna do right now. Uh, Michigan law establishes the requirements for voting equipment testing and we adhere to that strictly. Um, one thing about these machines, they're not hooked to the internet. We get asked that every election since we've got these machines, especially in light of the last couple of years. They do not hook to the internet in any way, shape or form. They download their data to a V drive, which is a, uh, it's a thumb drive for lack of a better term, but it's coded that only that machine will read. If you put it into a regular computer, you're not gonna get the results. Um, and they send the information once we close the polls to the county via wireless, uh, not wireless, via uh, cellular, encrypted cellular data. 
Uh, last thing is they're, uh, they're not necessarily a fully electronic voting system because we maintain the paper ballots, which are gonna drop into the ballot box you see in front of you. And we also maintain the electronic records. Those are kept for a minimum of two years per the law. Um, they're stored in my area. And if that, that way, if there's an audit, which invariably there will be from the county, they'll ask to see at least one of our precincts. Um, and we take the entire precinct up there and they hand count every ballot and compare it to the results. Sometimes they do more than a precinct, you never know. With that, we're gonna cut the seal to the testing kit. We're gonna verify the seal number. Chris, you wanna read her the seal? And just to move along on our agenda, that means we're moving to item number five, which is to perform the public accuracy test. Um, so, any questions so far, you guys? Nope. Because um, Martin brought up a good point, uh, Neil and Val, you're both on the ballot. Uh, normally, we'd have you come down and run the the, the uh, ballots through the machine. In today's case, we're going to have Chris do it along with Dina's help. That way, it's strictly in, it's it's neutral, so to speak. I guess. I'm sorry, Tom. Tom do you have the paperwork? Yep. Prepare the seal. Show them which one is the first seal. Should be one seven one three seven nine. Yes, it is. So we're going to test precinct one. Um, <clears throat> we're going to retest precinct one is a better way of putting it. Uh, part of this test, this is a, uh, a third party vendor test. Part of the uh, requirements of the state are that we have to pull three of those ballots out and hand replicate them with actual voting ballots from the county, which we have done. Make sure the machine can read not only their deck, but also the county machines, I mean the county uh, ballots. We ready? Go ahead, you can start anytime. Now the first 11, they're gonna have to cast as is. Um, as an example, this one says too many choices are marked, uh, US Senator, in the 11th district. So you can either pull it out or cast it. We're going to cast them all. And you can put it in any way. I said you could put it in any way. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Frontwards, backwards, upside down. Here, mm -hmm. when you have a number down below that's not a one, I'll do four, three, two, and four. Four, three, two, three. So just so you know, whatever this bottom number is, will be the last number. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go green.
now we're past the error. Now they'll just take them. A lot of this test, uh, the remaining ballots, it'll just take them in now. And a lot of this test, uh, or part of this test is every position in every race within that ballot. And I believe there's about between Republican and Democrat, there's probably, and the proposals, there's probably 40 to 50 races within this one ballot. Every position, yes, no, or every person on the ballot will get a vote. Uh, some will get multiple votes, but that's all part of it. David, here's the last one that's a wrong. This is a wrong precinct ballot. Uh, it's simulated by the barcoding being blacked out, and that's exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to reject it and not give you the option to vote it, which the machine does. Okay, so at this point, we're going to close the polls, turn the machine around, and we'll put the code in just to keep that private. It's been tested before, so oh, yeah. it'll, <laughs> we know we know it's going to work. We've done this exact test uh, along with a multitude of other tests on this on every machine in the township. But currently, we have 18 persons. And you do two you do extras as well, right? Oh yeah, we do uh, two spares. Uh, well, yeah, so basically 20. 20 precincts, and then uh, we have an extra touch writer at Township Hall here, so 21 of those. They're separate machines. This counts the ballots and votes them. That simply creates a ballot for the handicapped, um, sight impaired, hearing impaired, or, or anybody that doesn't want to wait in line. They can, rather than black in the ballot, they can go do it with touch screen. Oh, wow. Vote it. So will that also be at one of the precincts, or is that just here? And if you need that, no, that's it's always here. For, here. for early use, it's at every precinct also has it. Oh, okay. Anybody that comes into precinct can vote either way. testing we 
transmit those results to the county and they verify that the transmission part's working on us. As a matter of fact, they called us this year and told us we missed one precinct. Okay. Okay, so, so Dave, you're going to read the results from the tabulator and compare it against the predetermined results based upon the, the, uh, the yeah, way the parties. ballots were created. So what I do normally is to make sure the right election's on here, which it is, the date's correct, make sure it's called a zero tape. Every position on this ballot should read zero right now before the machine, before the test was done, which it does. And now we'll read the results. You ready, dear? I'm ready. Uh, do you want to do it from the microphones over there? You want to do Thank you. On the Democratic Party, we'll start. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm not going to read all the names of the candidates. I'm just going to read the results of the how many votes they got each. So your first race should be 3, 2, and 1. Correct. Second should be 3, 2, 1. Correct. Third is 2, 1. Correct. Fourth is 2, 1. Correct. Fifth is 2-1. Correct. Sixth is 2-1. Correct. Seventh is 2-1. Correct. Eighth is 2-1. Correct. Ninth is 3-2-1. Correct. Then we have 10th is 2-1. Correct. Uh, 11th is 2-1. Correct. 12th is 2-1. Correct. 13th should be 1. Correct. 14th should be 4-3-2-4. Four, Correct. 15th, 4-3-2-3. Correct. Now under the Republican side should be five four three two one. Correct. Uh, three two one. Correct. Three two one. Correct. 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 Four three two one. Correct. Three two one. Correct. Two one. Correct. Two one. Correct. Uh, one. Correct. Two one. Correct. Six five four three two four. Correct. Uh, two three. Correct. Four three two one. Correct. And three one. Correct. Awesome. <laughs> That's always the scary part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with the results matching. Um, my end of the test is done. Chris is going to, we're going to clear the ballots and counters on the machine first. Um, and then we're going to seal the machine up. motion for that. Yes, you can. That's all right. Okay, great. Thank you, Dave, Chris, thanks, and Dina. Thanks, Dave, and thanks for the explanation of everything. Any questions about anything you guys saw? And um, so the next item on our agenda is item number six, which is consider approval of the voting assist terminal or VAT testing and security certification form and the tabular program testing and security, security con uh, certification form. Those are in the packet and we also have one original here that we'll sign. Um, th these forms contain the, uh, the precinct number uh, tabulators assigned, the memory device seal numbers, um, and the date of the pre preliminary test date, the seal number that we opened them at front this morning, and the serial number that we will reseal it with today. Um, have we done checked the seal number already? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
It's a seven, yeah, just one, please. One we'll use today. The test deck seal number? 171380? Yeah. Great. Yes, okay, thank you. Great, so this machine will be sealed and locked. Uh, all the other machines have been sealed and locked. Um, they are kept in our secure election storage area. Oh, there's one more. Just machine number one. Where do I find that number? Should be right here. 065105. Right. Mm -hmm. That will be the uh, a new seal. Scanner seal. Great. Okay. Good. So that's going in the scanner. The other one I read earlier is the one uh, oh, the for the the, t the ballot bag. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, and as I was mentioning, they are, they are locked in a secured uh, room here on campus and then uh, prepared into a security uh, cabinet, which is delivered each precinct on election day, which is also sealed and locked. Um, if there's not any questions, I would entertain a motion to approve the two certification forms. So moved. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Okay. Um, the last item on our agenda is to, there we go, you can see everything's going into the, uh, the ballot bag now. And this is maintained in case there's ever any question after the election and about the performance of this work and the accuracy of the test. And we'll, we will seal the test kit up, which has all the machines testing in it once your paperwork is all done and signed after, the, after this meeting. Great, okay. How about a motion to adjourn? So moved. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.